Android list view is a view which groups several items and display them in vertical scrollable list. The list items are automatically inserted to the list using an adapter that pulls the content from the source, such as an array or database. And we have seen this in the adapter lesson before. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lesson. So an adapter actually bridges between UI components and the data source that fill data into UI components. Let's start creating the, our, adapt, our list of view, our simple list of view. Later on, we are going to learn more advanced things about the list of view and how to customize it. First of all, let's go to the, the XML, the layout, and start making the list of view. We start by the tag list. Of if you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch. Master data structure and algorithms in C and Java. Join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. You and here with the ID list view. And I will add infer the constraint by clicking on this infer constraint and it becomes inferred. Now, this is the list of you. Let's go to the main activity and start the steps of creating the list of you. First of all, is the initialization of the list of you and XML widget or view. Declaration. List of view. List of view equal to find view by ID art ID dot list view. So this will import a package called list view. You see, guys, here is the list view. Android dot widget dot list view. After that, the second step is creating the data source. So the data source would be here, you can create it, the data source. As I told you, we start by defining the data source in order to start publishing this data into the layout, into the the, the list of you. So I will create a string array, either a database, the data source, maybe a database, an array, a cloud, or anything. In this case, or in this tutorial, we are having the array as a data source. I will name it as Android versions, and I will create a here, the text, the strings, first of all, lolly, pop, this is the Android version. We have also Oreo, we have um, KitKat, we have um, Marshmallow, We have Android 10, we have Android 11, and we have Android 12. They stop naming them as the candies from the version 10. So these are the Android versions. The first of all, we have created the list of you and we have linked it, initialized it in the 
main activity. We create the data source. Now let's create our adapter. This is the third step, the adapter. The adapter, an adapter actually bridges between UI components and the data source that fill the data into UI. In our case, the data source, as I told you, the array, it will bridge between this array and the list of view. So, adapter holds the data and send the data to adapter view. The view can take the data from adapter view and shows the data on different views like spinner, list view, grid view, card views, the recycler view, and so on. In our case, we are going to use this to publish into a recycler, into a list view. As I told you in the previous videos that adapters has many uh, types. Since we are publishing a data source of type array, we are going to create and use an array adapter. Okay, so the adapter would be an array adapter. You can use this adapter, which is the array adapter, when your data source is an array. So we start by creating array adapter, adapter equal new array adapter, and we pass the generics here as a type of string. To learn more about the generics and the inheritance in Java, please go back to the Java section and learn more about them. So we start by the context this. We pass here. We will start with Android dot R dot layout dot simple list item since we don't have any customization in this tutorial we are going to use a very simple and ready-made layout if we click on control and left click we will go to this xml and if we split on this we will have a text view here so this will link and this is the layout of our item of the list view. So this represent the item of a single or the layout of the single item in list view. Now the third parameter I should pass is the data source, which is the Android version in this case. Okay, so Android versions. Okay, it's very simple. Now in order to link the data with the adapter with the data source and the list view we need to put list view dot set adapter and we specify our adapter this is very important step so as a revision we have created our list view here in the xml and we have defined it and declared it in in java the second step is creating the source, the data source, which is the array. And the third step is customizing the or creating the adapter. An adapter, it would be of type array adapter. Okay. Because we have the data source as array. Now, there is one note. In Andro Android has a ready-made layouts. One of them we have used here in as a simple list item that contain only a text view. In the next video, we are going to learn how to customize this uh, layout and how to start making new customization and how to make changes and uh, um, implementing our own layouts in the list view. And Android version, this is the source, the data source, and they are compiled into the array. The last step that many people uh, like forget it is list view dot set adapter dot off and pass the adapter that you have created already. Let's run and see. So we have created our list view. This is our list view. We can allow the clicking of them and we in the next videos we are going to implement 
the click view for and the click events for these items. But till now, we have correctly created our simple 